The Wheel of Time production team is on the last legs of filming season two of the Amazon television show, and we have some more updates on what's going on with the mysterious filming in Morocco. We've also got some new set picks, information on the filming, and four new potential cast members to discuss. Additionally, there are going to be some interesting things going on in the community, including the con season about to begin. We'll cover all of that and more on today's weekly Wheel of Time news. So quick spoiler warning, today's video will carry a spoiler rating of yellow. There aren't going to be any major plot spoilers, but I'm going to be talking all about the locations and some general events from the books and show. If you want zero spoilers at all, maybe come back to this video and watch it later, but I'm not going to be spoiling anything really too bad at all. So let's kick off the news with yet another update on the Morocco filming. Now about a month back, I reported on this show that the Wheel of Time production team had finished filming in Prague and that they were going to be doing some light shooting in Morocco. Many of the main cast were seen back at their homes, and so it appeared that the main sequence filming had wound down. It turns out that wasn't super accurate. While many of the cast did go home, it looks like they may have come back to Morocco for what we announced two weeks ago to be a two-month filming process. They are doing extensive shoots here, and the speculation has been all over the place as to whether this is the Io Waste or Almuth Plain or Falm or anything. We now have even more information about what's going on with the filming in Morocco, mostly thanks to Watseries.com. They are reporting that nearly 1,000 people are involved on a daily basis in the filming in Morocco. They are shooting with extras, horse riders, 260 cases of camera equipment, two separate directors, a drone unit, a costume team, a hair and makeup team, a prosthetic and practical effect team, a dialect coach, stunt teams, and what appears to be most of the main cast. What we originally thought were brief pickup shoots are apparently major filming. They are filming at a number of locations in Morocco, including Oars 8, which we mentioned weeks ago, but also Marrakech and Dakla. In Oars' 8, it appears that there are two separate filming locations that are being used by the production. One is called the Fint Oasis, which is a green area hidden between two hills. There were extras and horses spotted on the set and what appears to be a seat or a throne on top of a dais. The other location in Oars' 8 that was just seen was the Jerusalem set from Kingdom of Heaven. Now, this is an enormous outdoor set, that has not only structures, but also open area surrounding it that's perfect for battle scenes. There have been some pictures from the set that have been leaked, which include uh, Sean Chan soldiers with armor. Uh, I'm not going to show those pictures, but they're out there. So it's very likely, as I mentioned a few weeks ago, that most of the filming that is happening in Morocco is based around Falma and the second book of the series. It is possible, though, that they are using some of the other desert areas in Morocco and some locations that we don't know about for filming the Ayo Waste. Now, one that comes to mind particularly is the Fint Oasis that I already mentioned. There is a mention of a throne or a seat in that location as well as horses. I'm not sure what that is unless it's Turok's house. What do you all think it could be? Let me know in the comments of the video. So let's move on to some casting news, or I should say speculation in this case, because none of what I'm about to talk about is confirmed. Wadseries.com is reporting four potential cast members that are attached to the show in some unknown roles. Now, we're going to run through all of these. Again, keep in mind, none of these are confirmed. The first of the roles is Raga Ragnars from Vikings fame. She's great in Vikings and in doing some research on her, she's actually quite accomplished. She's a two-time Olympic swimmer for Iceland as well as a singer. And while it's unsure what her involvement in the Wheel of Time is going to be, she did mention that her next project was a very big project. To me, that implies she's probably more than just an extra. She's probably a series regular if indeed she's referring to the Wheel of Time here. If she were just an extra, I doubt she would be promoting it as something very big so probably a major role so that brings us to what could she be if i had my guess i would say she's probably one of the aiel i don't think she's avienda but i we have heard rafe mention that there are going to be more aiel in the season than we might anticipate and so she could be one of the maidens of the spear maybe sulin i could also potentially see her as maybe a meese although she does look way too young to play a wise one. Being one of the Aiel would also match up as she was spotted in Morocco. And if she's playing an Aiel character and they're shooting some of the Aiel scenes there, that would make some sense. The next of the potentials is Ayula Smart. She's an Irish actor who was on Killing Eve and Smother. Now, according to her CV, she has been filming a regular series role since her last project completed, 
which could be the wheel of time if that connection is proven. She was also seen to be in Morocco. She could easily be one of the Sean Chan to me. Let me know what you think there. The third potential actor is Jay Duffy. Now, Jay is also an Irish actor, and he was also on Vikings. The connection here is that his father, Keith Duffy, who is an Irish singer, mentioned that his son is about to make it big in Hollywood after landing a dream role on the biggest streaming show in the world, which Wheel of Time was at the time of that interview. I have no clue who Jay could be playing, but just looking at him, he looks like maybe a Gawain to me. You would not say it was a dream role if you were just appearing as an extra. So again, I, I, it leads me to believe some type of a bigger role in the show. The last of the potential cast members is Zelia Mendez Jones. She is a model who's relatively new to acting. She's been in a yet to be released Netflix movie and is said to be working on an unspecified prime video series. But she was in Prague with the rest of the Wheel of Time cast earlier this year. Again, no thoughts on who she could be playing, but given that she wasn't in Morocco that we know of, I'm going to guess she was an Aes Sedai and shooting on the soundstage. In any case, I want to stress that none of these are confirmed, and most are discovered by some sleuthing from Eerie and Sarah on Watt series, but they tend to be correct when they report things like this. We have had far fewer leaks this season, but I would expect with some of the cons starting up and the summer approaching that we will see more releases from Amazon directly once filming has completed. What do you think of these potential casting choices? Who might they be playing? Let me know in the comments of the video. I wanna quickly thank this video sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN is the world's largest provider of VPN services, and a VPN service is something that you should absolutely have. If you aren't familiar with what they are, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it acts as an intermediary between you and your internet service provider. They provide safety that keep your provider and other nefarious entities from tracking your movements online, finding your location, locking you out of content, or even trying to spam target you with ads. A VPN is vital for safety while using the internet. Now normally they're really, really cheap and they're worth using anyway. But because you're one of my viewers, NordVPN is gonna give you a massive discount. Click the link in the description of the video and get signed up. You'll protect yourself and you'll support the channel in the process. Thanks again to NordVPN and let's get back to the news. Now that we're into April, we are starting into convention season and Wheel of Time conventions are coming up. Whether you are somebody who is going to visit in person or just watch the coverage from afar, these are great events to engage with and be a part of in any way that you can. Coming up this month is JordanCon, the oldest and largest convention with a Wheel of Time track. JordanCon is a tribute to the works and life of Robert Jordan, as well as some other fantasy writing and writing tracks. There's also a huge Brandon Sanderson contingent at that event, but one of the main draws has always been the Wheel of Time content. JordanCon is roughly 20 days away, and I cannot wait. Uh, I'm going to be down there this year. I'll be arriving on Thursday, and I'll be leaving on Monday night. I can't wait to spend time with everybody that'll be there. Come say hi if you see me. Trust me, I, I'm pretty hard to miss. I'm pretty tall. I wanted to give you guys a bit of a heads up on what type of content to look for, what'll be going down while we're there, and any general information on JordanCon. So I'll be covering the event in a couple ways. My intention is to do a blog of the events, very similar to my London premiere blog of when I went to London for the Wheel of Time premiere, which you can watch that video by clicking the little box up in the corner somewhere. I will be interviewing guests at the con. I'll be recording some of the festivities. I'll be showing you basically what I'm doing there, who I'm interacting with, all the fun stuff. Try to give you kind of a, a behind the scenes look. I will also be recording a live episode of Tarvalon After Dark with Recapa Sedai and Jess, which we had a ton of fun doing last year with everybody. We'll have some special stuff planned for the live show and we'll probably have some interaction from guests you guys can watch us record an episode of the podcast live. Additionally, I'm going to be on a panel with the Tarval and After Dark crew, and that's essentially Fuck, Mary Kill with Wheel of Time characters. Yes, obviously an After Dark panel, but it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait for Jordan Con. I'm super excited that the con season has started. One thing to look out for is tons of information coming up on WatCon, but not until after JordanCon is over. We wanted to wait for that to happen before we dropped any other big news, but it is coming. All right, it's contest time. In our last episode, the contest was to leave a comment letting me know which character you wanted me to do a deep dive on next. I have a few of them lined up and being written right now, but it's time to pick our winner from last episode. And that person's going to get a free t-shirt from shopwheeloftime.com. And that winner is... Leah B. Leah, shoot me a message on Discord or on Twitter, and I will get you out your shirt. But now it's time for this week's contest. And first, as always, you need to like the video and you need to make sure to be subscribed to the channel. You can't win unless you've done both of those things. Then I want you to respond in the comments of the video if you're going to be at any of the Wheel of Time conventions this year. If you're not able to go, that's fine too. Let me know that. But those conventions could be WatCon, JordanCon, SpoilerCon, MalkyrieCon, or any other 
Wheel of Time related con. Do those things and I'll pick a winner and they're going to get a free t-shirt at shopwheelofTime.com. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then leave a comment on this video that says whether or not you're going to be at one of the Wheel of Time cons or not. I want to give a special shout out to my patrons. You guys make this channel possible and I could not do it without you. From paying for our writers on thegreatblight.com to hosting WattCon to making war videos that don't always get views, I could not do this without you. Thank you for your support. You can see some of my higher tier patrons up on the screen right now. Also, make sure to check out one of these videos here that you might like. Thank you for watching and until next time, peace out.